Hey Drumbeats fans, greetings from the home office today. I'm going to post a quick little video here and show you an update of what's going on around our neighborhood right now. If you like this sort of content, I'll usually post it over on the Ogre Vision channel. I'm going to put a link to the Ogre Vision channel down below. We've got behind the scenes, question and answer, and uh, all sorts of different content that we put there. So take a look. And now, on with the video. Hey Drumbeats fans, I'm coming to you from the back lot right now. I am actually working today. I'm not going to be working every day this week. We've gone to a staggered schedule for the technical staff. We are on essential personnel only over here. And I'm just going to take a second out of my day. It's about rush hour right now when everybody should be headed home for the day or maybe coming into the neighborhood uh, to maybe catch some dinner or drinks with friends or just kind of hang out. Well, all of that is locked down right now. We're not doing any of that. So let's go take a look, see what the neighborhood looks like today. Right now I'm on the side street where you would normally see cars turning into our parking lot or the tow truck exiting from the parking lot. I'm about a block away from the parking lot right now. So if we take a little walk, this street should be packed with cars on both sides of the street with just a single lane for cars to be driving through in the middle. That's what it usually looks like on any given day here, but not today. It's kind of like a ghost town. Except, of course, for the essential personnel. So guys, I've been coming to this part of town for the better part of the last 15 years, and this is as empty as I've ever seen it. I'm kind of standing in the middle of the street right now, which wouldn't be advisable under normal circumstances, but look around. I mean, there's just really nothing going on today. And that's kind of how it is all around. I'm sure that's how it is in your town right now. Businesses behind me, we've got restaurants and bars and coffee shops. They're all boarded up because people can't come and enjoy themselves. Brain Dead Brewing Company is right behind me. It's a great place to uh, stop, grab a beer after work. Usually, this place is packed. That patio, you can't get a place during the week. And right now, it's all shut down. By the way, I should point out that the street behind me, this is Main Street. This is Main Street, Dallas, Texas. This is all the traffic we've got going on right now. That's not to say that the entire city is shut down, because of course it's not. Non-essential businesses are supposed to be closed, but there are a lot of businesses that are really necessary to keep things going around the town. But here I am on pretty much the main corner of Deep Ellum. This is really the heart it's the entry to Deep Elm. I'm here at Elm and Good Latimer. This place should be packed. But Deep Elm, just like the rest of Dallas, is far from packed today. It's not much different from the scenes that we all see on the news right now, but for anyone familiar with our neighborhood, it's quite the departure from normal. Our streets are typically teeming with vehicles and pedestrians coming to enjoy the sights, sounds, and tastes that make Deep Ellum such a unique place to be. The parking lots and the street parking, which are pretty much always full, are now deserted. If you're watching this video, you're probably already familiar with the typical content on the channel. Parking lots around Deep Ellum are so full, or people just don't want to pay a few dollars for the privilege of parking close by, that cars will sometimes find their way into our parking lot and take a chance on not getting towed away. I think it's safe to say that the tow trucks will not be too busy in the near future. The businesses that aren't able to operate right now, they're boarding up. I'm standing right outside Trees, which is sort of a legendary music venue. Uh, you can Google it, Trees, Dallas. Uh, you'll see there have been a lot of big name acts there, and there continue to be some pretty big name acts that come through. On the blackboards that are up on the wall, they've usually got giant posters showing who's going to be here. We're not expecting anybody anytime soon. Now, neat thing is, some of the area businesses, 
they're actually being a little bit fun with it. They're decorating, painting murals, painting special messages on their boards. Now, while some businesses have decided to close up completely, some restaurants have stayed open to serve their community. In fact, I've told you about my pal Pete before. He owns St. Pete's Dancing Marlin. Under current law, he's not allowed to serve in his restaurant, but he's gotten creative to stay in business. In addition to his regular menu, he's also offering a $40 family meal pack. And the amount of food is enormous and would probably keep me fed for days. He told me there's not really much of a profit in it for him, but it does keep his employees working. He's got curbside service and you can call ahead and he'll bring it to your car. If you're in or near Dallas, I highly recommend you look him up. It's obviously most important that everyone do their part to keep the virus at bay, but at the same time, we've all got to eat. And I always like to support my local businesses. So guys, thanks for taking a little walk around the neighborhood with me today. Seeing what's up, as you can see, just not a whole lot going on right now. But we'll keep posting. We'll keep putting videos up. Join me back for the next one. Be safe.